uh, forwarded me a link to uh, a newspaper article that described the Ottawa uh, program. And I think it's an excellent, excellent uh, program. It uh, both encourages and recognizes local talent and it gives exposure and an ability for, for people in Kingston to also be able to recognize and appreciate that. There are clearly going to be some logistical issues. I had a good conversation with the Director of uh, Cultural Services and clearly uh, we'll need to do things like explore uh, how we go about uh, royalties or getting waiver of royalties and that there's been quite an outpouring on Facebook by uh, musicians who are very supportive of this who are already saying that they'd be happy to volunteer uh, to become engaged in, in this process. Uh, I've spoken to staff, I believe that uh, a request that uh, a report with recommendations for the end of Q2 uh, going through the appropriate committee, which would be the Arts Advisory Committee, makes perfect sense. Uh, the, it's interesting because in my experience being involved with the Arts Advisory Committee and being involved in the grant programs, I think we do a very good job with, with uh, uh, performing arts, with the theater groups, uh, with, with other arts groups. The interesting thing, and I can say this as a former spouse of a, of a, a professional musician, it really is a kind of private entrepreneurial job that many of, the, many of them have, and they don't work uh, necessarily with other than the musicians' union in, in a kind of constant collaborative way. So this gives them that opportunity. We have uh, one of the best uh, symphonies in Ontario, if not in Canada, for a city our size. We have lots of renowned musicians, and unlike one wag, uh, we have tons of very, very talented musicians of every variety, and I think this is a great opportunity for us to recognize and applaud them. So I'm hopeful that this will pass, and I'm looking forward to the 